it seems he really tried to give you his autograph. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, Monsieur Zimski, a Konrad Zimski, a Herr Zimski, superstar. <laughs> I think I skipped drunk. Went right to hangover. I spoke with the kids. They don't sleep at night. They look at the sky and, uh, and they think it's pretty. Is there any chance you're wrong? No, the sky, no. The sky, I mean, it's just the beginning. That's high altitude static discharge. Dr. Keyes, your presence is required at the Pentagon. Ah, it's my best buddies. Hey, why don't you join us for a drink? We'd be grateful if you could join us for a ride, sir. And if I were to say no, just ask him. Yeah. Well, we have no sense of humor. That's true. <laughs> oh. And we're armed. Dr. Keyes, welcome. Thank you. Dr. Zimski informs us that you made a useful contribution to his investigation, so he wanted you to assist him with the briefing. It's very generous of you, Dr. Zimski. Science is a selfless business, dear boy. Now, why don't you begin, and I'll um, fill in all the difficult bits. <clears throat> all right, I'll put this as simply as I can. Everybody on Earth is dead to me. And let me explain why. Wrapped around the Earth is an invisible field of energy. It's made up of uh, electricity and magnetism, so it's called, creatively enough, the electromagnetic field. It's where we get our magnetic North Pole and South Pole, and it protects us from cosmic radiation. So this EM field is our friend. But now, but now that field is falling apart. Why? Uh, why? Does somebody have a can of air freshener? Uh, quick and dirty. The thin skin, that's the Earth's crust. That's what we live on. It's 30 miles thick. The meat here, I call it the mantle. I'm forgetting all the, the funky transitions. It's uh, the 2,000 miles thick. The core, the peach pit in the center. That's a tricky one. There's two parts the inner core and the outer core. You following me? The inner core is, uh, well, it's a big solid chunk of iron, we think. And that's surrounded by the outer core, and that is liquid. Yes, but most importantly, this liquid is constantly spinning in one direction. So a trillion, trillion tons of hot metal spinning at a thousand miles an hour. Yeah. Right, so physics 101, hot metal moving fast makes an electromagnetic field. The spinning liquid outer core is the engine that drives the EM field. And that's where we have our problem. This engine has stalled. The core of the Earth has stopped spinning. How could this have happened? We don't know. What's the timeline here? As the EM field becomes more and more unstable, we'll start seeing isolated incidents. One plane will fall from the sky, and then two, and then in a few months, anything, everything. Electronic will be fried. Static discharges in the atmosphere will create superstorms with hundreds of lightning strikes per square mile. After that, it gets bad. The Earth's EM field shields us from the solar winds, which are a lethal blend of radioactive particles and microwaves. When that shield collapses, microwave radiation will literally cook our planet. Dr. Zimski, <clears throat> this is the sun. This is the Earth without the EM field. With you? Three months, gentlemen, and we're back in the Stone Age. A full year, the field collapses, 
and that. Feel free to throw up. I know I do. So, how do we fix it? We can't. Not in my vocabulary. Then you might want to get one of those word-a-day calendars, General, because it's impossible. The core is the size of Mars. You're talking about jump-starting a planet. This is a superheated hyperfluid of molten iron and nickel at 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 2,000 miles down, 1,000 miles thick. I mean, the deepest we've ever been is seven miles with a two-inch drill bit. If we can go into space, we certainly... Well, space is easy. It's empty. We're talking about millions of pounds of pressure per square inch. Even if we somehow came up with a brilliant plan to fix the core, we just can't get there. Yes, but... What if we could?